Hey there, it's Heather Hakes. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm excited to share with you, and I'm gonna go on a total rant and rampage, but this is the one thing you've got to stop doing. This is something most people are really good at, and it comes naturally because it's something you've repeated and practiced time and time again, which means it's become a habit, and that's how you're creating your reality. What is this one thing that you need to stop doing? The one thing you must stop doing right now, right here today, make a decision that you're going to stop complaining and focusing on what you don't want. This is what most people are doing. Most people, my clients included, friends that come to me for advice, the conversations I have time and time again, people are so focused on what they don't want lack of money, things that bother them about their boss or significant other, what they don't like about their body, on and on and on. But here's the thing, what you focus on, where your energy, where your focus goes, energy flows. What that means is whatever you're putting out, whatever you're thinking about, speaking about, and you're ultimately creating these feelings and emotions behind it, you're putting that out, which means you are a magnetic force attracting back exactly what you're putting out. So you wonder why you always complain about scarcity of money or how bad your relationship is or your boss or traffic or whatever. And you wonder why nothing changes. Well, if you're ready to let go of these bad habits, if you're ready to get the money you want, have the relationship you desire, the body that makes you feel good, the travel, the adventure, the home, whatever it is, the thing you want. If you are ready to do the things you need to do to get that thing, this episode is for you. So what I want to share with you is it's all about you've got to flip the script. And what that means is obviously you've got to change your focus, but you've got to change it from this side of all the yuck, all the muck, all the things you don't want. You've got to let that go. You've got to, it shouldn't be your prime focus anymore. Let it go and instead shift and think about, okay, if I spent the same time and energy talking about and thinking about the things that I actually want, what if that became my reality? So I want you to treat this like an experiment. Seriously, do this for the next seven days just for fun. Just try it and see if you get a different outcome. So for the next seven days, here's what I want you to do. Get really clear. Pick one thing in your life. Do you want more money? Is it about your health or fitness? Is it your relationship? Is it something at work? Is it business? Pick the one thing, just one thing, because I want you to be super focused on this one thing for seven days. That's all I'm asking for you. The time's going to pass anyway, so you might as well be designing your life by choice rather than default. So what you're gonna do for the next seven days, choose that one thing. Let's say it's money, because money is the easiest thing to talk about. To get out of that scarcity mindset, money's hard to come by, I have to work hard for money, I'm never gonna have enough money. To let go of that, I want you to shift your focus and get clear on how much money do you need? In this next seven days, if, if $1,000 came your way, would that blow your mind? Would that be an experiment worth doing for the next seven days? Would it be worth your time for $1,000? Do whatever amount you want. Maybe it's something like a free cup of coffee or you know, 500 bucks to pay your car bill or whatever it is. Choose an amount of money that would blow your mind or whatever your situation may be. So I want you to get super clear and focused. And now that it's like, okay, now I'm gonna invest my time and energy only focusing about the thing that I do want. And that's all I'm gonna do and I'm gonna rehearse it, I'm going to think it, I'm going to speak it. And then most importantly, I'm going to act as if that desire, the thing I want, I already have it. Now that you've let go of that old dead weight, that baggage holding you down, and you've stepped into this literal new reality, what you're doing is reprogramming your subconscious mind to no longer be negative and focused on the suck. You are literally creating new habits and new neural pathways and networks in your mind to be abundant, to be prosperous, to be and have that loving relationship, that new job, that new house, the travel, the adventure, whatever it is you desire. 
And it's these three steps. You have to think it, you have to speak it, and then you have to act as if it's already yours. I talk about this often and something that you can do to even further this and like really build the momentum. It's what I call future rip as if. This is so much fun. Whether you do it with yourself, you do it with a partner, which is even more powerful because then you're creating this momentum and, and going even bigger. You can also do it in the mirror with yourself. But what I want you to do for the next seven days, just seven days, you're going to future rip as if. So each day, part of your morning routine, and this literally could take a minute or less, I want you to get in front of the mirror, or if you go for a run, say it while you're running, or a morning walk, whatever it is, first thing in the morning before all the mess gets of the day gets in your way. You're gonna think, speak, and act as if that thing you want already happened. So you could say it like, I am so happy and grateful now that now that $1,000 of unexpected money has come my way. Most importantly, the how is not your job. Do not pinch yourself off by thinking the how must come from an unexpected bonus or the how must come from this one specific avenue. You let go of the how, the how is not your job. The what is your job. The focus is your job. The clarity is your job. So again, you can start your day off. I'm so happy and grateful now that I, I have gone on a first date with such a potential match. I'm so excited. And now you talk about the excitement about it and the feelings behind it. And, and then you're, you're going to be in a good mood and, and you're going to attract more good things. And here's the thing. You do this for seven days, the ripple effect you're going to create, the momentum that you're going to create in this slight mindset shift, mindset shift, it's because you decided, you made a choice you were going to do it. You're now going to be creating these new habits. And then imagine if you did that in just seven days and now you do it again for another seven days. But I want, to, I want you to know if you have one ounce of doubt, if you have one ounce of disbelief or this is total BS, you're going to fall back into the old trap of how things were. So I'm just asking you for seven days of your time to let go of the old ways, your old thinking, and step into possibility. Step into this new mindset and this new framework and just be open to things coming your way. And I wanna hear from you. What was this, what was this like? You can comment below, email me directly, hit me up on any of the social platforms. I want to hear from you. But for the next seven days, let go of the old you, let go of what's not working for you and get super clear and focused. And then you think, speak and act as if the desire is already yours. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to my channel and go to heatherhakes.com, opt into my free video training where I teach you my seven step process to manifest anything you want. I've done this for myself for six figures, free travel, concert tickets, my ideal relationship, new home, all kinds of things. So I know it works because I've done it time and time again. So again, be sure to subscribe to this channel and then go to heatherhakes.com to get my free training on how to, the seven steps to manifest anything you want. I'll catch you on the next mindset lesson.